Welcome, my name is Catherine Wendt with Syscon, and thanks for taking a few minutes with me. I have an update on the long-awaited Sage 100 Contractor version 20 upgrade, and we've been receiving a number of questions about this upgrade, what it means to the users, why they're bothering to do it, and I'd like to go over a few of those just quickly with you here. Why is version 20 so different? Bottom line, it changes how files are stored. They've needed this for a long time. We are very glad that they've made this change, but it is a major change to the back end of the program. Why did Sage change a program that already works so well? Well, it does work very well, but we've noticed that with clients who have a lot of users in a multi-environment or who have large data sets, there are a lot of screens that are just plain old slow, and this version will greatly increase those speeds. One of the ones we tested, 50% reduction in the time it took to pull up the information. That's huge. Uh, what about the end user? Well, the good news is, for your typical person using this program, the GUI, the interface, what the person sees is identical. It, it's the same tables, it's the same menus, they're going to be very happy with this. Uh, where it's really different is going to be in the administration of the program. So you'll want to involve your IT person, make sure that they read the specs, uh, they need to think about the domain controller request, they need to think about the SQL server, a couple of things for them. Um, how to move forward. So now you know that this is coming, you will have to do it. Sage will make sure that we all do it. So how are you going to move forward? Planning and testing. Those are the two buzzwords, planning and testing. Unlike all the other upgrades in the past, and we've been doing this for 20 years, this one will be an installation of the program and you can actually take your data set and run it into the version 20 and you can have them side by side. You can actually run them both at the same time. This will give you a chance to test version 20, test your reports, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second, and make sure everything is good to go before you make the switch 100%. Speaking of those reports, third-party add-ons, crystal reports, these won't work without rewrites, and you're gonna to need to address that. If it is a report that you use for your daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly reports, you're going to need to do some testing. Take advantage of this new format, test away. Uh, as your uh, staff is working day to day, collect the reports. What do they use? What do they need to get their job done? And make sure every one of those have been uh, put on a list and tested before you go live. So when do you need to upgrade? Well, historically, Sage has allowed us to have two versions with tax tables at the beginning of the year. If they continue that format, you can do your testing through quarter four when things are a little bit slower, and you can plan on upgrading sometime in quarter one. Close your year in 19, do your uh, payroll reports if you use the payroll module, and then plan on upgrading in quarter one. If for some reason they do not follow that format, we do expect we'll be getting some information along the way. I hope this has been helpful. There are way more details on the website, so please take a few minutes, log on, print this out, bring it to your staff, and planning and testing. Proceed with caution and care, but we are very excited about this. Thanks for your time, and you have a great rest of your week.